Our third question is, uh, is it better to decide on a major first or a college first? That's a really good question. Uh, and the answer is, it depends on you. Uh, so if you know exactly what you want to major and you say, I want to major in this specific instrument, I want to go to Juilliard. Mm -hmm. Great. Because um, Juilliard has really good programs. And I'm sorry. Right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, maybe the premier institution yeah. in the United States. <laughs> yeah. So, like, that's totally cool. <laughs> you've decided on Juilliard, you've decided on your instrument, so you, I guess you've, like, decided on both at the time. But if you have, like, a major that's more, I, I, I don't want to say, like, widely accepted, but, like, you, it's more accessible to any school. So, like, I, I was, like, I'm going to major in English or writing or creative writing. Like, there's, there's tons of colleges across, like, every college in the United States has a major that I could take where I would be able to make it work for me. So it really, like, honestly, de just depends on you. Help me out, guys. Yeah, yeah. and I think, honestly, like, um, like, if you know what you want to major in, which isn't everyone, like, a lot, a lot, a lot of high school kids have no idea what they want to major in. And that's, <coughs> and that's good. Kind of like, that's a good thing. That means you're going in open-minded. And there's lots of different reasons to choose a college. Like, Maybe you're really into Greek life. Like I wasn't. I didn't even know what Greek life meant when I went to school. But maybe that's something your mom was in a sorority, your dad was in a fraternity, and you want to follow in their footsteps. Then that's something you pay attention to. Or you're really into college football, and you just you really want to go to a college football powerhouse. Like mm -hmm. that's cool. Look up the college, the schools with good college program, football programs uh, that There's you want to go to. On college Express. There you go. A little students. plug for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's so it totally depends. I mean, maybe you want to go somewhere where there's palm trees and sunshine and people think 70 degrees is cold. Like, that was why I went to California. Um, so there's lots of different reasons to choose a school. It doesn't have to be based on your major. But if you're not going to base it on a major, I would say go to a school that has a lot of options. Mm -hmm. So go to, like, a liberal arts college or go to a school that has, like, multiple different colleges within it so that when you do decide you have options and you mm -hmm. haven't like put yourself in like a box find out they don't even have the program you want yeah so, like you suddenly realize like oh you know i want to actually major in communications because you understand finally what that means and <laughs> they don't <laughs> have a school of communications and so now you have to transfer <laughs> so you know i think yeah. if you know what you want to major on major in find make a list of schools that have that major, and then start to compare other categories. Like, do they have sports teams? What does their campus look like? Is it spread out across the city, or is it on, like, an inclusive campus? Like, And then I think also, no matter which one you're going for, whether you're deciding a major first or you're going for the college, visit the campus, yep. right? Because, like, Definitely. you're never going to know what the school's like until yeah. you visit the campus. And I didn't do that. When I was in high school, my parents were like, come with us, like, let's go to the colleges around Massachusetts, like, let's go around New England, let's visit college campuses, and I was just like, no, <laughs> I don't want to, I'm the oldest child, I have two younger brothers, and I was just, like, not willing to accept that my childhood was ending, like, I was just not happy about <laughs> it, and I did not want to go look at college campuses, and it was a huge mistake, and I wish that I had, because maybe I wouldn't have been so seduced so quickly by Southern California if I'd, like, been to more than just NYU and Southern California, um, so yeah, definitely. And they're kind of fun to go to college yeah. stores. Yeah, it's great. I love, like, college stores are you awesome. Get to have lunch on campus. They you think the dorm stuff. Yeah, yeah, and it's like one big daydream. You get to imagine that you already yeah. go there, and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna work out in that gym, and I'm gonna sit on that lawn and read books, and then you get to see their libraries. Which if you're like Sometimes a book you get nerd, to skip like oh gosh, the libraries gosh. are amazing. <laughs> one of my top schools That's had, not right. <laughs> had a library in a barn. <laughs> Like oh. they had a reading room and a silo, and I was like, this is the coolest thing so ever. Cool. I almost went specifically for that library. <laughs> I know. And you'll see a library and just be like, oh, my God, I just want to study in this library. Yeah. Like, this Over here, like, now. you can skip school to go on the campus tours. I like the libraries. <laughs> no, you, know, you can skip for. school to go on the campus tours. A lot of high That's schools That's what I was excited for. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, I think one of the big things, too, is you mentioned just going on the college campus tours. Two parts to that. Uh, one is do it uh, if you, can, <laughs> and if you mm -hmm. have the means to. If you're not able to go out to somewhere like California and you're on the East Coast, mm. uh, right now uh, there's virtual tours 
from you visit mm -hmm. and any of those so you can just hop on and get a rough idea of what it's yeah. going to be it's not yeah. going to be the exact same experience but these most colleges now have that ability that you can jump on and have a virtual tour and explore the campus. Usually they have a very cheesy guide that's guiding you through it. <laughs> so you can choose to mute them or not, but uh, <laughs> feel free to dive on and do that. Yeah. Uh, and the second one is if you have relatives or siblings or whatever that are in that same age bracket, go with them even if you're not interested in the schools. Mm -hmm. Because my cousin was going, he's a year older than I am, maybe two years older, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but uh, I was like, yeah, I, I wanna go to Vermont and just like scope yeah. it out. Uh, ended up at Champlain, never heard of it before, and it was only because he had heard about it, was interested. He didn't end up going to the school, I fell in love with it when I went up there. <laughs> so there's uh, definitely that experience of actually setting foot on it and exploring and seeing everything firsthand. Uh, you get to ask questions to people, like you can ask us questions, obviously, Obviously, we're not at the college campus of your choice, but mm -hmm. that's one big... We can be. We can go. <laughs> we can we'll be. do a trip. Send us some money. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tell our boss you want us to see us on college campuses. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a, the tour guides are usually rich with inf information. Yeah. I can talk. Mm -hmm. So jump in and just ask them questions, especially if you're interested in not just the college side of things and academics, but what there is to do around the town. If you uh, have a very specific hobby that you like to do, make sure it's there. If you're yeah. kind of, you know, you got something that you want to do and then yeah. all of a sudden, hey, there's not a bowling alley in like <laughs> 200 miles or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, so just ask those questions, yeah. see what they do for fun, see where uh, people like yeah. to hang out, go explore the city as well as the campus. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Bouncing off of that, um, for the first point they made, uh, very important about the, the virtual tours, but also check the campuses to see, or check the college websites to see if they have fly-in programs, because a lot of yeah. schools have that now where they will, they have a certain amount set aside for scholarship to fly students out to see them, mm -hmm. um, so that you can go to the co campus tours, and if you have, like, a financial hardship, you just kind of write to them and say, oh, what do you have for options for this? Mm -hmm. um, and then for, like, also going off the college tours, like, you should go for sure, um, because a lot of people don't know what they want to major in, but then they walk on a, a college campus and they're like, this is it. This is where I want to go. Like, this is the place for me. My brother changed his major a little bit. Um, he was he went in for musical theater and he, was, uh, he went through an audition for a bunch of schools and he had several different options that he could go to and he had walked on to the Pace, um, university campus in New York and he said, this is it, this is the one for me. And he ended up switching majors. He was, he was never gonna be an actor. He could never. <laughs> can't take direction <laughs> so he was going to be a director <laughs> and he was cool. able to like change majors and do that but it was you know the the right place for him and you know that the minute you walk on a college campus mm -hmm. or at least I feel like a lot of people know that a lot of people don't know specifically like this is this is the college for me but after you like get more information about it and you learn and you meet more people then you start to feel that you start to feel at home, or at least you should. Yeah. That's what you should And I feel like a lot of people will say that to you when you're in high school, like, mm -hmm. oh, you got to go visit the campus because you'll know when you get there. Yep. And you kind of don't believe you. Like, how would you know? Like, you're just on a campus. Just but it's know. so true. Yeah. Like, I thought I always thought I was going to go to the uh, UMaine mm -hmm. in Orno. And um, I was dead set. They had the program I thought I would want to go into eventually. I declared my major. <laughs> um, and... They're like, they were an hour away from Canada, and my, I have a lot of family in Canada. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. Oh, poutine. <laughs> and then I went up there, and I went in the summertime, so it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. But then I also went in April, and it was probably like 10 degrees. There was still <laughs> snow everywhere. Nobody was like on the campus because it was so cold yeah. out. And I was like, hmm. This is not the college for me. Like, yeah, they have a nice program, but since I don't even know what I want to major in, like, I'm not going to set my heart on this if it's not somewhere I can see myself. Like, I, wouldn't, I would like to be outside. So then I went to URI in April. So it was, like, a week later, and it was sunny, and it was a beautiful day. Yep. And then I went to the beach after, which was, like, 10 minutes down the road. I was like, all right, well, yeah. beach or the snow. <laughs> so yeah. you definitely get a feel when you're at the campus. And going on campus also, I think, like when you're thinking about like the reasons you might pick a college, whether it's athletics, Greek life, the libraries, um, those are, I guess, all I can think of right <laughs> now. Um, but as a high school kid, like I remember thinking like, what is Greek life? Yeah. Like, I don't know what that means. And like the community around the college, like, I don't know what kind of community I want. Like, there's a lot of indecision in high school and that's fine. Like, that's totally normal. 
But going to a college campus can help you at least understand like what those categories are, even if the campuses you visit aren't the ones that you end up loving. Mm -hmm. So like if you can't travel around the country, and a lot of people can't travel around the country to the campuses, but you can visit the ones that are near you. And so you can get a sense of like, oh, I like this about this campus, and I like this about this one. So I'm going to look for other campuses that have those options. So that's a way to just, it, college tours, even if it's a college you never think you're going to go to, it's just a good way to start to understand what you like and what you don't like on a college campus. So you, that can help like inform your search as you spread out. That's true. Yeah. yeah. You also, um, it's very important that you know yourself. Like mm-hmm. we all know ourselves. So I knew I was never going to be an engineer. My brain's just not wired that way. And I have friends that knew they would never be a history major because they didn't like it they didn't like writing papers so going to a liberal arts school to them was like Mm. to me going to a liberal arts school is like that might be interesting it might be fun um so like even if you don't know a set major but you're like i know i want to be in the sciences you can go to a science focused um college if you're like i know i want to be an engineer but i don't know what kind i want to be to Mm -hmm. there are engineering universities so like northeastern and boston is tons of engineering majors they have some other majors too but like it's an engineering school so if you know that you like want to be in a particular area look for a school that has strong programs in those areas Mm -hmm. even if you don't have a set major like that's the kind of environment that you're going to want to be in you're going to be surrounded by people that are reaching toward the same goals as you and that will help you figure out what you want to do for a major what you want to do after college and all Mm -hmm. that and finding yeah. schools that like where that's the top major, yeah. like at URI, one of the biggest majors was pharmacy, and kids would come from California, like mm-hmm. around the country, to go to URI to major in pharmacy. So like finding those kind of schools where you know they have really good connections because the major is so popular mm-hmm. is important too. So do like the research like that. Like URI, it's not like an Ivy League school, but it's still a top program, and you can do really well in pharmacy because that's like their biggest major, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. So. Just that's do some also research on that. Worth noting too, if you're into a specific major that's hard to get into, like if it's pharmacy and mm. you're not the strongest student to start, you can sometimes I don't want to say it's guaranteed, but if you start at the school in a different major and then transfer into the pharmacy later on, showing that you have what it takes to jump into that. I know a bunch of kids at Champlain uh, video game yep. majors were Oof. like a huge thing. Yeah. And uh, there was three different divisions and a lot of people got rejected from it. And I had tons of friends who were like, oh, I'm gonna get into it. And then yep. sophomore, junior year, they were able to yeah. jump in and get get rolling. So it's not mm-hmm. to say that if, um, if you're into a certain major, don't, feel discouraged if mm-hmm. you don't get accepted to that but you're accepted to the school um, because there is opportunity to move through and if you know that that school is very highly accredited for that specific yeah. program then run with it and see what happens i'm gonna bounce off of that again and this kind of ties into our last question about the right course of study if you like go in because there were <clears throat> champlain has one of the top um video, ga- video uh, game art and animation programs in like the world mm-hmm. um so a lot of kids would go and they'd like go for game art and animation and they'd be like, I love video games. I want to do this. But the game art and animation program is so hard because they don't want kids that are, it's like I said, it's one of the top programs. So they want kids that want to do it, that are going to be dedicated to it. So by sophomore year, a bunch of people were dropping out and finding different majors. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid if that happens to you. If you're like, I don't have the drive that I thought I did for this, but I still like being involved with this thing. So like still staying with video games they're like i don't have the drive to do game art and animation let me get into the game programming side let me get into marketing for games Mm -hmm. let me get into game writing and all Mm -hmm. these different things so there are especially if it's a college with a focus on that particular major um like Mackenzie was saying even if you get into the program and realize i don't want to do this anymore there might be ways that you can still stay involved with that topic while doing something else involved with it 